Hey guys and welcome to another video with me, Alala of Pink, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these lock screens. And I was supposed to do five, but I realized that the video was too long, so I cut it down to three. And yeah. Okay, so you're going to start by opening your Photoshop, and I use Photoshop CS6. Then you're gonna go File, New, and open a canvas, and the size would be 563 by 1000. And you can change the size however you want to, but that's just how that's the sizes the size the dimensions that i use actually you can just create a new layer and then fill that with whatever color and then go Control t to resize or to open freeform make sure that you click the paper clip before you slide down to the left to make it smaller next we're gonna go to google and search i'm just gonna search pinterest wallpaper or pinterest pattern or pinterest marbles and those kind of stuff so i just find something that would fit the png that i had in mind and then just got this one and you're gonna go right click copy image and then control V to paste it onto your canvas you can resize it now or later you can go right click create clipping mask to make sure that it's inside the square that we made earlier so life wouldn't be as hard and then you're going I'm going to just resize it and make it fit then you're gonna go file place and then I'm going to select a PNG and I'm just gonna select half of it then you're going to go Control J to duplicate the layer you can change the hue and saturation so you're gonna go right click rasterize layer and then after that you can go Control u and change the lightness to negative 100 to make sure that it's black you're gonna move it a bit to the right and then go Control t again to resize it make it bigger to make it look more like a shadow and then for the opacity it's usually between 400 40% to 50% and yeah that's basically it I'm just gonna go get my PSD I have a tutorial what PSDs are how to use them and yeah the PSD I got new PSDs and this one is by narrow sim her PSDs are amazing by the way you should go check it out I'll link all of the PSDs that I, the websites where I got my PSD from in the description bar i hope i'll remember that then i'll add my watermark and i'll just rotate it by negative 90 degrees so it would fit the side of the canvas and that's basically it i guess so that's the first lock screen and i think i think it looks okay it looks good actually and this will be available in my deviant art gallery in the description box down below free download go ahead for the second one you're gonna go get the rectangle tool and you're gonna make a rectangle and make it about around this size you're gonna remove the stroke and then you're gonna add a fill layer any color really and then next you're gonna make smaller rectangles underneath maybe four or five smaller rectangles and I'm just gonna use four and you can hold on alt while dragging the rectangles to duplicate them and then I'm going to select all of them then I'm going to select align vertical centers so that they would be in a straight line we're going to click the paper clip again to make sure that the proportion wouldn't be distorted while you resize your rectangles and then you're gonna select I'm going to select the last rectangle and the big rectangle together like so and then I'm going to align them to the right and I'm going to do the same to the first rectangle in the big rectangle and I'm going to align them to the left like what I'm doing and for the two middle ones I'm just going to use my arrow keys to fit them in the center so next I'm going back to Google I'm just gonna search watercolor texture watercolor wallpapers and whatever I could find and I'm just going again to copy it and paste it onto my canvas I'm gonna go right click create clipping mask and then I'm going to resize it move it around wherever I want to I'm not a big fan of the color so I'm going to go control U and change the hue like you could just change the hue but in my case i'm going to change it per color so the greens i'll turn it in a bit bluer change it per color if that makes any sense and the reds i'm going to turn it in a warmer blue tone and at the end of it it's gonna look like this then you're gonna go file place and import again your png and i'm going to resize it and i'm adding three fourths actually just half of the png i'm gonna go right click create clipping mask to make sure that it's inside a big rectangle you again you're gonna go Control j and you're gonna go right click create clipping mask so to make sure that th those two are inside and then the bottom layer you're gonna go right click again rasterize layer turn it to black move it to the right make it a bit bigger just like what we did last time and lower the opacity around 40 to 50 percent you're just gonna repeat what we did earlier just create a background and next 
to change the colors of the rectangles you're just gonna double click the preview right here and then I'm just going to select the colors from the background to make a color palette like what I'm doing so just double click the icon and then pick a color click OK and basically you're done and again the font I'm using is Arial Italic rotated at negative 90 degrees and the PSD that I used are the same ones because I'm basically using the same PNG and the same color palette mostly and yeah you can mix and match your PSDs and I have I made two of these and they are both available for download for free on DeviantArt in my gallery so for the third and last one you're gonna search for screen caps or you could take a screen cap on your own of your favorite movie or TV show. I'm just gonna go search Wonder Woman screen cap and I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to open the entire image. Go right click, copy image and then control V to paste it onto your canvas. Make it a bit smaller to fit the bottom of your canvas like what I'm doing. And then you're gonna next you're gonna select the dominant color of your image. Next I'm going to get light leak textures and the idea be so the idea for this lock screen is that you're gonna fill the you're gonna fill the top part of your lock screen with light leaks. At some point it looks weird but after you're done with it, it looks great honestly and you're just I'm just gonna get as many light leaks that I like even though they don't match exactly the screen cap that we use that we will be using we're gonna change that later on so okay so now that we have a texture you're gonna go right click copy image and then you're gonna go control V to paste it onto your canvas then to change the color you're gonna go control U and click colorize because we select the dominant color earlier if you can remember that and then you're gonna change the blending option to lighten usually lighten but you can play around with it and then the eraser tool is your friend and of course I almost forgot you're going to fill the background with a solid color so that the colors will blend and it wouldn't look too weird because if you put it on lighten and there's no background color it's not really going to mix and it's up to you to play around with the curve the saturation just so everything would blend well and in my case i'm just using the curves and adjustments to brighten the screen cap because it's a bit dark you couldn't see the details that much and yeah you're just going to repeat the process i'm going to speed this part up so you can see what it looks like at the end of it it took a lot of trial and error for me to figure out which one looks best with a photo and which one blends well to make sure that it's not too awkward to look at and yeah that's basically it it's time consuming actually and it's really important to play around with the PSD to make sure that everything is blended well together and you're going to add your watermark and that's basically it Okay, so thank you guys for watching. All of the lock screens that you've seen in the previews will all be available on my DeviantArt gallery for free. So if you're going to recreate this, you can tweet me or tag me on Instagram. Usually they just use Twitter or Instagram. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, comment down below what you want to see in the next video. And subscribe for more videos because I'll be uploading every week. I'll try. Okay, bye!